This block is called 1904 Star. It came from Barbara Brackman's Encyclopedia. And it's an example of a block that looks really hard to do, but it's not. When you break it down, and when I explain to you how it's pieced, you'll see how easy it is. Here's the diagram, and the units we have here, the center unit is the square and a square, and then we have four of these tri-rec units, or sometimes called triangle and square. And we'll go over how to piece that too. And then we have this unit here, which I don't think it has a name, but it's made with quarter square triangles. Okay, so let's look at the patches. The first patch A, we cut three and seven eighth inches and cut it in half once diagonally to make a three inch finished half square triangle. We'll need four patches from the red fabric. Patch B, we cut four and a quarter inches, and then we subcut it twice diagonally to get four quarter square triangles that are three inch finished. And we have the background, you can hardly see it here, but we have the background, 16 patches, and the floral fabric, four patches. And patch C is a three inch finished square. We'll cut three and a half inches. There's just one, it's in the center, and it's the floral fabric. For these three patches, I have the AccuQuilt dies you can use. If you have the six inch cube, you have all of the dies for, the, for these three patches. Now this one uses the tri-rec unit. So patch D and DR means D, patch D, and D reversed. And I'll show you that when we cut those out. We'll need four patches of D and four patches of DR. And then this tells you what you need to do because the D's are the rectangle, the half rectangle triangles and the E's are the center triangle. Here is the tri-rec set of rulers that we're going to use. Okay, let's look at the fabrics. Here is patch A, and this is the corner, the units in the very corners. Here are the, is patch B, they are the quarter square triangles. Here is patch C, it's the square in the center, and here here are patches for patch D and DR, and you cut two of these, and you keep these wrong sides together for when we cut. And here is patch E, and this is the triangle part of the tri-rec unit. I'm going to start with the square in the square. It's in the very center, and this is patch C is the floral, and patch B is the light quarter square triangles. I start with the square and I take two of the quarter square triangles and piece them on opposite sides. So I'll piece these and then press them. Then I'll take the other two quarter square triangles and piece them on the, the remaining sides and press those. The next unit we're going to do is this these side units that makes a triangle. There are three quarter square triangles of the light fabric and one of the floral fabric. We just lay it out like this, just follow the picture, and it's going to make a bigger triangle like this. Start by sewing this side, then press it, sew the other side, then press it, and then sew the bottom part, and you'll have your triangle. We have our square and a square unit, and we have our side triangle units, four of those. Then we have these patches left that will go in the corners of the block. Now the last thing we have to do, last unit we have to make, is the tri-rec units. Let's look at patches D and DR first, and for mine it's this orange fabric, and we've cut two. and we pay, put both pieces together with the wrong sides together. When we cut these, give us our left and right patches. We're going to use 
Line up that with the bottom and then the edge of the ruler with the side and the top is lined up. Then we'll cut. And if we take these out, you'll see there are, there's a left and a right, or a D and a DR. Now flip the ruler over, line it up again, and cut. And there are some little parts on the corners of this ruler that you can cut off that will help with the placement. Then line it up again. Cut this little piece off. And then one more time for a total of eight pieces. Now we have our four D's and our four DR's. And we'll separate these out. Now we'll take our E patch for our E patches. This is three and a half inches by ten and a half inches. And we're going to cut four of the triangles. So we'll lay this on the bottom of the three and a half inch mat ruler. And the top should be lined up. And we cut. And then we'll cut this side off. There's one triangle. Let's flip this around. Two. Now we have our four triangles. Now we have our triangles, the center triangle and the side triangles. And we'll piece them together like this. These little thing you cut off at the top should line up with the top edge of this triangle. See how that lines up? That little cutoff part lines up. And this little triangle is, is going to be in the seam allowance. And you're going to stitch here a quarter of an inch and go all the way down a quarter of an inch. When you stitch this side, press it open and then stitch the other side, the left side, the same way. When you're piecing these rectangle triangles to the center triangle, I want to show you some of the things you might see. When you have this line here is almost a straight line, so it won't come to a point here. And up here you want to try to just have it even with the top. This one came out a little uneven, but it's not enough for me to worry about. When you stitch the second side after you've pressed, so this side is pressed, and when you put your fabric down for the second side, these points match, so those are lined up. Then you start your stitching right here in this little V and stitch your scant quarter of an inch all the way down. And here is that little part that you cut off and it's matched with the bottom part here and the other part that goes straight here, this stitching goes right through that. So it's hard to to explain, but you can see how it stops here and angles up this orange fabric and then the stitching stops right there. So it's like an invisible V right there. Here's a pressed one. When you press it, that'll be straight across the top and you can cut off that little nub. Then the bottom part, you see how these are shaped at the bottom. If you cut this nub off here, this little bitty piece will be out. So it won't be a straight square like this is here. It won't be a straight square. It will be, let me just cut this off. So you can see the difference here. It's, it's almost rounded here 
and here's what it looks like before you cut the little nub off. So this is fine and then you want this straight up here at the top and we'll cut this little nub off too. So that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to show you how to put the block together and this is done in diagonal rows. I've done the first two in this way and this goes like this and then we put another Trirex go next after that and then the corners And let's see. Yes, that's right. And that's how it looks. So if we pull this away, what we'll do, and let's pull this away. This will piece, be pieced next. Then press all the seams open. Then you can stitch it to this. Then you piece these together. Press them and piece to this and then press and piece your final corner. Thank you for watching. 